Hey everyone on YouTube, how you guys doing? So I, I think I finished uh, Mr. V's Hell's Kitchen Cleaver, and I'm proud to show it. Um, I still need to do the lanyard, so Mr. V, um, I'm going to ask my son to do the lanyard. Um, I, I just, um, I was doing one thing at a time, and I forgot to plan ahead and uh, have it ready for you. But as I promised, uh, you'll have it uh, no later than next Monday, uh, hopefully in your hands. So here we go. Without further ado, let me see if I can fit this in the camera. I'm not too sure how the camera is catching the colors. It's a little darker in my background because the light in my basement went out. The recessed light and I have to go get another bulb. So let's get a little closer. I'll probably do another take outside. I'll oh, show the other side. I'm trying not to move the camera too fast because I know it doesn't want to cooperate. Zoom in on my dinosaur footprint logo. Use the reflection to my advantage. All right, so I call this flame fallout finish. And it came out pretty sweet on this one, and believe me guys, my knives will only get better. Um, uh, because uh, the the flame, I can make it a little brighter. And I could definitely do that on my next batch of knives going out to Peter's Heat Treat. Oh, I don't even have the whole thing in, in, in camera. Alright, so I'm going to try to work, let me see, I'm trying to work back here just to show you how long this beauty is. Uh, she is... I'd say about 19 inches. The blade is 7 inches. Let me hold it flat for a second on the table. Let me hold it flat on this table for a second and pick it up. Hopefully, there we go. The lighting here is terrible. 7 inches blade. And I would assume that's another inch in the back. So 19 inches. The lighting here is terrible. Sorry about moving the camera. Put her back here. Hell's Kitchen Cleaver. And, and when I say Hell's Kitchen, I don't refer to, I'm not referring to Hell's Kitchen, uh, New York. Um, it's a kitchen cleaver, but with the flames and a demonic uh, file work that I have here, the teeth, um, maybe one that might be suited for... <laughs> for hell. Um, flame full off finish. He wa uh, Mr. V wanted a post-apocalyptic look, so I gave it the uh, rock pattern uh, spine, as long as uh, uh, as well as the top of the uh, of the blade. Am I in, uh, in camera? I think so. Uh, the rock pattern, because it kind of looked like it was beaten. It's been hammered. It's been used to uh, to baton with. Um, he wanted post-apocalyptic look. So um, uh, the rock pattern extends down here to the to the blade portion, and I'm only showing you one side because this this thing is heavy. This weighs, I'm guessing, four pounds or or so. Uh, let me just hopefully it focuses on the edge. I thought the pattern on the edge came out sweet. I'm going to be doing this pattern pretty much on all my blades on the bottom when I do the acid dip. I don't think the camera is. There we go. Now we got to focus. Hopefully this comes out good. Um, she's a sharp one, of course. Let's start here from the from the beginning. Okay. Oops. Trying to get good. She's kind of heavy, so controlling it is. Controlling the, there we go, uh, curly cue, come on, go, 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 curl, 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 curl. So controlling it is kind of heavy. Ah, uh, I took it off. Come on, give me a curly cue. Give me a curly cue. That was sweet. Let's see if I can do that again. I'm going to leave that curly cue. Oh, come on. Let's see if I can do that again. Down and up. Down. Up. And down. Not bad for something that's almost 0.3 inches thick. This is a 3V steel. Uh, the steel came from the Jersey Steel Baron. That was important to Mr. V. 
uh, professionally heat treated at Peter's Heat Treat. Again, that was uh, important to Mr. V. And Mr. V was also very glad to hear that I don't do jigs, I don't do water cut or uh, laser cut or jet cut, whatever. I did everything here by hand, including the file work was done by hand, and including the scale work, which I think, uh, I don't recall now, three hours or more to do the... Um, to do this by hand and uh, this I've been working on it over and over again Mr. V that's why it took so long to finish